Greetings, unsettled souls. Welcome to the Correct Views. Sam I.B. doing political commentary for the media speaks. Nothing like a good delay there on the sound card. Uh, going live here with the 12 Days of Christmas, and here's what we're doing. Before I get into the the topic of the gingerbread people, which, again, don't you dare say gingerbread men. I'll explain in a minute. I'll explain. Before I get into that, I understand that there's probably a great number of people who are going to be offended by the fact that I'm still calling them gingerbread men. As a matter of fact, there is probably a good deal of people who have been offended or upset by something I've said all year long. So here's what I'm going to do for you. I am going to open the door to attack. I am inviting anyone that wants to, for any reason, to attack me in any way they want. As a matter of fact, I can even help you with it. Some people, for instance, might watch the show and think, look at that long hair. Is he male or female? Well, you can usually tell the difference if I was able to wash my hair before that particular broadcasting. Um, I am part Mexican. Got any jokes? Bring them. For that matter, my last name is DeGangi. It's Italian. Oh, you know the thing wrong with us Italians is they always buy these cars that have these tires, you know, they go flat, they go wop, wop, wop. Oh, you can't say that. You might offend somebody. Well, I could probably offend the Irish, too, because that's where my family came from. Now, I would know some Irish jokes, of course, if they weren't starving to death due to the potato famine. Come on. What do you got? Bring it. I challenge you to attack me any way you want to. As a matter of fact, I will try to remember to read the ones that I like the most, that are the most offensive and the most hateful. I promise I'll do my best to try to single you out, uh, single it out and read it. For that matter, I may even put my phone number online during the next broadcast so that you can spew your hate without me paraphrasing it or reading it. How about that? I promise not only do I preach non-PC, non conformist viewpoints, but I am now inviting them to be used against me. And if you happen to agree with me, well then, welcome to the land of gingerbread men! Listen to this insanity. This is from the sun.co.uk, and I want to remind you, if you could to be so kind, check out the ASPCA. They have treated animals wonderfully, and of course, I am doing my best to go ahead and make sure... Oh, my computer just blinked. I'm doing my very best to make sure all of you as well are kept abreast on this. Now I'm hoping it comes back up. The gist of the entire story, as I fight my computer here, is the gingerbread men. To call them gingerbread men is to assign gender without asking permission. It's to assume gender. And therefore, by its very nature, that is offensive. And it simply can't be done. Now, if you think for a moment that I'm making this up, sun.co.uk, winger bread customers hit at Baker's politically correct gingerbread person rebrand. A row is cooking after a bakery renamed its gingerbread men person. So shoppers yesterday condemned the gender, gender neutral move as politically correct nonsense. Hence the reason for today's contest. They were shocked by the label on the traditional biscuits by J.L. Bean Bakers in Clevysville, Lancashire. One customer hit out on Facebook after saying that his wife had to order a gingerbread person when she went to the shop. More than 100 then commented with one saying, seemingly now you have to call gingerbread men gingerbread persons. There is a law in place for this type of PC nonsense. Another baker called it another case of political correctness gone mad. But baker Claymore Lewis insisted that it was a joke. Nothing was meant by it. It's tongue-in-cheek. It was never done with political correctness in mind. Oh, I'm sure. So maybe it wasn't, or maybe it was. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to invite you to say, what is the best you can come up with? Now, you've watched me for a year. You've got to be able to come up with something. I mean, really, the fat jokes were great, but I've lost a whole bunch of weight, so you really don't have that one anymore. But come on, it's wide open. Let's see what you got. 
You can donate to the show at the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. Please do so. Hit share, hit subscribe.